Hey folks, Wrath coming at you with a video. This time it's going to be a summary of wrap up and thoughts on how I felt about this current endless event. So going to call it a night, I'm headed to bed, but shout out to my clanmate, Rabbit, who's in first place, and then also uh, Chupi, who's, who's giving me a fantastic fight this time around. So I think overall I'm going to end up second, which is not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Switching gears to where I made it in the raffle shop, almost through round 21. There really is no strategy that I've been using, nor that I do think that one exists. I simply put the skip animation button and then hit three tokens and press start as fast as I can. So wherever the dice falls, the dice falls. And I think this time around I've been lucky. All the other times I've gotten around to like 19 or 20, 21 I think is a personal best. Uh, moving on to what I've actually been buying from the shop. So every time I do end up purchasing the Mythic Red Runes, I don't need any of the additional characters up front. So I buy the Red Runes and I buy the Ketoshin Triangle tokens. Those significantly help get the tempered material. And then above and beyond that, on the lower tier currency, uh, these are the items that I bought. I have an overabundance of everything else, so there really isn't a good choice, but I decided to spend it on these three. Switching gears, just wanted to give you a couple of closing thoughts on the teams that I've been using for the three different dungeons. Uh, there, there's a few videos that I have on this for specific manual timings and whatnot, but uh, ultimately, this is a team that I decided to go for the Forbidden Mist. Taylor, I would say, in here is the unique piece because of his lowered crit damage reduction. So if you can... If you have a tailor, I would say definitely use him here. Uh, mine's only X20 and does the job really well. For the Reign of Edar event, this was the team that I showcased earlier. Nothing really changed. Uh, I'm close to a second copy of Korra, which, which would help push this damage a little bit further. Ended up roughly around 64 million, which is a little shy of where I want to be. Some of my clan mates are at the 66, 67 million mark. So lots of improvement there. And then finally on the Death Hive event, you'll notice that I've got Ampu and Senwe and Bug Gear. Everybody else wasn't able to get a copy. Uh, firstly, because they don't need it. Uh, summons don't actually benefit from the, the Bug Master set. But all, and, and that's why characters like Anpu, which do damage by themselves more so, and Senwe, which can also deal a bit of damage as well. And so they're the two that benefit the most. And finally wanted to showcase a good Enlighten that I've rolled probably after 200, 250 attempts. Yeah, so pretty happy about the outcome. We've got a plus one Ampu to all skills as well as plus one Sif skills. And then we've got some middle attack, front attack, and summon attack. So lots of stats and the two characters that do the most damage, I would say for summoners at this point in time. Both Ampu and Sif benefit highly from this. In, in any case, hope this video addresses some of the questions you all had around what to do with your raffle shops. See you next time.